Welcome back to Swix Class Zoom number four. I apologize for how long it's been, but some exciting things have been happening that's also been slowing me down. So let's talk about it. I'm sorry about the delay between posts. I had some exciting stuff going on and decided to get a brand new computer and I was tired of buying pre-builds. So I took the dive and decided to build my own computer. Now, a lot of other people in the world also thought that, so there was a shortage of parts and it took a long time for those parts to show up. I was making all my videos previously on like a seven year old computer that was using four year older technology and it finally caught up where I thought editing video should go a lot easier than this. So I decided to make myself a nice video editing machine because it just seems like the thing to do right now. I took a stack of boxes that looked like this and I created this. This allows me to edit in 4K and to do a lot bigger projects than I was doing before. When I made my virtual choir video, it took a lot of processing time for the computer to think about all those images and frames. This new computer can do the same thing with 4K images a lot faster. I used to be able to take breaks when I pressed export, I could walk away for 45 minutes and come back and maybe it would be done. And with this new machine, it only takes about three or four minutes to export a video, which is very exciting for me because I can get things done faster. The last piece that hadn't shown up yet was the USB audio interface. And if you don't know what that is, it's the box that allows this microphone to go into the computer and hear my voice. Because so many podcasts were started over the quarantine, audio interfaces were very hard to come by. The one I chose has been on back order for almost a month now, and I finally decided to go with a different one just so I can get it faster. I don't know if that means something's wrong with this one, but it it works right now. Now that the computer's up and running, I'm gonna start working on Soundtrap tutorials again. I've had some awesome requests from friends and I think this is my song list right now. So I'm gonna get started on those and get those posted as soon as possible. Summer has started for a majority of you and I can see that my numbers are starting to shift. Songs that I would normally use in the classroom are starting to dwindle while the Soundtrap tutorials are really taking off. People that have been with me for a year or maybe even two now, you've realized that I've kind of shifted where the videos are going every couple of months. As much as I enjoy writing an original song, if it gets 20 views, it just wasn't worth the time to do it. I'm really following the data and right now Soundtrap tutorials are taking off. The next project I have in mind is a video series where we explain how to play an instrument we can all get our hands on. I know we don't have the classroom and we can't get our hands on xylophones really, but instruments like ukulele can be as little as $30 and even drumsticks, drumming on items with drumsticks that are pretty low cost. You can probably get them for six or $7 at your local music store. So in between these Soundtrap tutorials, I'll be recording a long series of short videos that include instruments that you can get your hands on easily. Things like drumsticks, ukuleles, and I guess even recorders. You can get your hands on them and play along. These are inexpensive items that I feel like every household could at least get their hands on one of them. Comment down below what instrument you have in your house. Would a piano tutorial be useful? Do you have a keyboard you can even work on? Music teachers across the country are scrambling right now, figuring out how to keep music education relevant. A Massachusetts school district decided to cut all of their arts, including PE and library, and we just don't want to go that route. No music teacher wants that to be what happens. Music teachers across the country right now are adapting as fast as possible to make sure we're not left out of education going forward. So if we can create these videos that would be educational to you at home, it's one step closer to making sure we don't lose out on music. That's the bell. I'll see you later.